where left is just a slightly tad higher than the right. Let go. <laughs> <laughs> what is going on crack addicts welcome back to the channel now in today's video i'm going to be posting a wide variety of chiropractic adjustments from some of your favorite chiropractors with some new additions also all of their links will be in the description that's where you can check them out directly now let's get into it and I'll see you on the next one. Up next, we have Dr. Brent Binder. Looking at the feet first, you definitely, there's an inversion on the right. It's uh, very slight, but not on the left. Okay, looking at the shoulder height, uh, it looks very close to even where left is just a slightly tad higher than the right. That's good. So on when we're standing on the left foot, the right hip is diving out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But arches are intact, that's good. Just observing your posture, like that was a good posture set up there, you just set up. Okay, looking at your shoulders though, you definitely have a high left shoulder here. Okay, now let's do a temperature examination now with the back of the hands this is more sensitive to temperature changes. Very consistent, nice and cool and symmetrical here. Okay, I'm going to push a little bit deeper into the muscles. Very tense. Yeah, especially here in this middle section. Tender. Mm -hmm. More so on the left. Close. Okay, pretty good movement on both sides. Any tenderness here? Mm, yeah. About the same on both sides? Yeah. Right, looking at your pelvis, you're going to feel my fingertips on the back of your hamstrings, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, tracing up to the bottom of the glute folds, we're lower on the right side here. That means your right hip is back like this, or your left hip is forward. And looking from the top, your right hip is out like this. It's very steady, but just a little bit of lateral sway to the right. And a little bit of back and forth, right and left. Not too much front to back. Uh, go ahead and lift your right leg up in the air. Good, okay. Yeah, there you go. Keep the knee straight as much as you can. Now put that back down. Oh, wait, shit, sorry. <laughs> uh, okay. Down. Okay, left. Down. It is showing up that your right lumbar is not firing correctly. Okay. Right and left, does that still feel the same? Um, actually, it feels better. Okay, let's work on this trap fiber a little bit. This is on the right side. So we'll see what happens when we get to the left. Nice, gentle breathing. Following the breath, just like the other one, all the way down, the shoulders sink in. Oh. Down. Good. Following down. Let's do it this way. Go and pull your belly button up to your... Good. Now let it... Now... Got it. Okay, nice and gentle breathing. I'm gonna take a deep breath in. Good. And out. This direction again, and your hips down like this. Let that go. Okay, lay on your back. Okay, bring your right ear down to your shoulder. Center. Okay, we're gonna do the right side first, nice and gentle. Okay, we're gonna follow the breath out. <laughs> Oh, wow. <laughs> oh. <sighs> it's crazy what that feels like. Holy crap. It's crazy the, like the sensation you get afterwards. It's like a tingly, warm feeling. Two, this is all the top two, two, three. 
good. And nice and gentle, Maddie, just following the breath. Good. <laughs> you had never just a big one to crack. Small intestine empties into your large intestine. Okay. You locate it first by finding the belly button. Yours is there. Mm -hmm. And then your ASIS top front of your hip is here. Follow these two points, connect them. And eggs and toast and blueberries. Okay, what time? <laughs> what time? Um, at like nine. Okay. My lower sphincter is where the stomach empties into the small intestine. Go to the belly button again. Follow it two inches up. Just tension in your bowels. You know what I mean, no mm -hmm. condition or anything. But you mentioned anxiety, and so the number one issue with any kind of bowel tension will be what's actually happening in your mind. Mm -hmm. See how your chest is lifting? Okay, let that go. Okay, push your belly out against my hand. Yep, and now pull it back in. Now don't breathe with it though. Just relax your breath. Just okay. push your belly out. Yep. Now pull your belly in. Okay, so this is a full spine adjustment, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna use this towel to support your neck like this. You okay with that? Mm -hmm. Okay, we're like this. Okay, nice gentle breathing. As you breathe out, just like the other adjustments, I'm gonna follow your breath and then we're gonna pull in this direction like that. So let's give it a try. Deep breath in and out. Oh my god. I was not expecting that. Breathe. <laughs> oh, I don't know why I'm gonna cry though. <laughs> oh my gosh. People normally cry after that. Yeah. Holy crap. <laughs> That's like such relief. That's like a major shift. Are we doing that again? No. Oh, okay, good. <laughs> Holy crap. It like really hurt and it felt really good at the same time. It's crazy because yeah, if you like don't get adjusted, you like lose your grounding, mm -hmm. and then yeah, everything gets screwed up. Then I feel like it's so even. That's so weird. You like don't realize how much weight you're putting on one side. Of you. Wow. Oh, I feel like I could be really balanced. Yeah. It's like a lot easier to stay like. Good. Right side push. Oh, yeah. This one's freaked me out. I'm like, what? You can crack a ear. Ah. Wow, it like relieves my sinuses. <laughs> I'm like still overcoming from that whole like whatever the heck that thing was you just did earlier. My emotions are like crazy right now. Like I feel like I could start dying laughing or like bawling my eyes out again. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's yeah. crazy. Whatever you feel, just keep letting it out. There's no reason to keep it in anymore. Yeah.
If you made it to the end of the video, guys and girls, thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more.